Hey, everybody, so look on the screen. Beautiful teacher, Miss Joy Brown, the late Joy Brown, rest in peace. I, black women, and I think it's women, this is ridiculous. There was a song back in the day, Karen White. I'm not your superwoman. I'm not the kind of girl that you can let down and think that everything's okay. Boy, I am only human. Remember that song? This girl needs more than a token of love. Yeah. I think it needs to be played. That should be the Black Woman National Anthem. You're human. You're not a fixer. You are human. You are a human being. You are not the fixer. You are not the transformer. You're not. You're not the dust bucket buster. You cannot change another individual. You cannot pick up, scraping down at the bottom of the barrel, just scraping down at the trash can. A dust bucket disturbed violent man, and I'm going to make him my boo or my husband. Many have tried, end up on the screen. I think a lot of me to go back and listen to Karen White's song back in the day, Superwoman. And tell yourself that. You don't have a magic uh, de-dusting formula. You can sprinkle it on top of that old dust bucket head. And guess what? Oh, he's the man I want, need him to be. Why are we sticking around with these dusties? Again, you are literally dumpster diving for capital D. That's what you're dealing with. The woman did the video. I already showed it on the platform. They hate you. No, they don't. You just don't understand. No. They, they really do. Some men hate women. Deal with it. I mean, it's reality. Just like yesterday, look like Mr. Wong over, over there. Old girl from the iPad. <laughs> How to cut up bodies. She did the right thing. Lock, lock him out. He's still trying to get in. Still, uh uh. Why, why is it on your iPad? It's like the stories you hear about, it. and if something happens to me, it's my husband, it's my boyfriend, if something happens to me, uh, but you're still there. And the next thing you know, something happens. On again, and, she, and, the, and then she's a mom. On again, off again, boyfriend for years. And what did it say? Court records and text messages from Brown show years of abuse at the hands of her on and off again boyfriend calvin jackson so it shows years of abuse of her own and off again boyfriend calvin jackson we just can't let that dust go court records years of abuse Look on the screen. Text message. CJ going to put in the caskets. And then uh, there's a correction. CJ going to put me in the casket. And that's exactly what he did. CJ going to put me in the casket. And that's exactly what he did. Wow. Girl, I found the tracking device. Isn't that something? See, she sent a text message. CJ going to put me in a casket and look, lo and behold, Calvin Jackson. That's what CJ did. You, you saw it coming? Darling, why did you stay? She's a teacher. She's a mom. I'm sure you can support yourself. You don't need him. Again, black women, uh, and it's a, I'm speaking to this group, 
I don't understand. You are picking up bottom shelf dust buckets. Don't make him a man. Understand. He might be your end. And he looks older than she. She has undergone years of what? Love and respect? Court records and text I messages. Up. I still have to look at the shell of a house. Court records and text messages from Brown show years of abuse at the hands of her on and off again boyfriend, Calvin Jackson. Are we at a point where we like drama? Do I mean, if you're trying to uh, unalive yourself, get close to a dust bucket. They come in all shades. Get close to one. You're going to pre pretty much guaranteed fast track it. Her text message, CJ going to put me in a casket. And it came true. We have to have a standard. Have to have a standard. Yesterday, Mr. Wan, he knocked on the door, he knocked on the door after a girl found that uh, iPad about cutting up some body parts. Ling Ling was on it. She's like, uh uh, not today. Cut up some body parts. Why is it on your iPad? Cut up a body for body parts. Why is it on your iPad? So you have to think it. The mind has to think it, and then later on it's executed. It, you have to think it. And then you have to execute it. So, Mr. Mr. Wong, again, I don't know his real name, but Mr. Wong, for the sake of the video, he thought it, and then, and then next thing you know, he's on, it, on his iPad and typing it out. How to cut up a body for body part. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, girl, start. She did the right thing. Lock the door, lock him out, change the locks. Girl, and you might need a Glock. I hope he does, uh-uh, no, lock him out. She did the right thing. This is over. Stick around if you want to. Well, you know, there was a post that she said about him putting her, uh, about him uh, looking up um, how to cut up a body for body parts. Next thing you know, we, we haven't heard from, where is she? Where she go? Where she go? Oh, Mr. Wong, no. It's just, I mean, seriously, how? I don't understand. She did the right thing. Lock the fool out. I bet she woke up this morning keeping him out. I've seen this thing with Beck, and it's like, the, okay, so the man already said he want to kill you and hurt you, and you send up her writing letters. And if something happens to me, next thing you know, she on the screen. One married to a doctor. If something happened to me, next thing you know, the brunette is on the screen. You, for, you, you saw that. Your women's intuition told you that. It's hardly ever wrong. As I said before, when you're dealing with these men, you might as well go ahead and do a selfie right now. Go ahead and get your selfie stick, whatever you got going on. Go ahead and just do a video and let people know that you truly understand that this man is a danger to your health and your survival. And let people know that's the chance you're willing to gamble so that way they may not take it so hard. You understand? Let, let them know you're, you're okay with it. Yeah, that's why you're going to let the person stay in your life. You're, you're okay with it. Let, let them know that. So that way, they won't take it so hard. And go ahead and get your life insurance up. Let people know. Do a video that, hey, you understand this may happen. And do a video with your life. Then after you've done that video, wait 24 hours if you can survive that long. And then sit down, email yourself a video. And then you need to sit down and watch that video. Why do I say that? Because once you sit down and watch that video, it, it may occur to you, this is crazy as hell. Why am I doing this? Maybe that can kind of catapult you to say, hey, I got to do something. I got to go ahead. No, no, you know what? I did the video. I watched this uh, me talking about my death, that I was going, that I was okay with taking a chance on a dust bucket man. Th that's the whole idea.
that's the whole idea of it you may this you may then realize oh you know what i did that uh video and man that just sounds crazy that sounds crazy i gotta make a change Yeah, they may kind of get you to get some point, point, get some movement going, get some action going in the right direction to realize this is nonsensical. This is crazy. Court records show years on again, off again. And look, she's CJ going to put me in a casket. I'm assuming Calvin Jackson, because that's the fool's name, the boyfriend's name based on a, a news report. And he did exactly that. He did exactly that. Wow. Let me know what you all think. <sighs> Unbelievable. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.